Hello, welcome to the video. It's Pete from Pete's Roadshow Collectibles and I've just received the mail this morning. It's, uh, well, fairly early, it's about half nine. And it's Friday. So a lot of the time on Fridays, I do 10 listings and then I spend some of the afternoon testing video games. And here's one I will be testing video consoles with um, that has just arrived and I'll show you what it is. I'll have to spin you around so I'll stop this video or rather yeah we'll stop it and use the camera on the front so first off we'll start with the the mess that is underneath my TV at the moment and then we're moving down to what's just arrived um, this is from another reseller um, I won't point out who is somebody with a very distinctive name that I've sold to myself and then I saw what they had to offer and yes, I had to have it really. Um, so I'll uh, open up with my knife. If I can do it one handed, don't want to damage the box or anything. That's probably enough. Not really concerned about the bag. Um, it's the type with the reusable bubble wrap, by the look of it, that's loose in the middle. Here we go. Here we go. Now, the, the, the case on this was nice in the advert. Let's hope it hasn't been cracked in the post. If it did, I wouldn't blame the seller. Uh, here we go. Final Fantasy 7, cracked. Like I said, I'm not going to blame the seller, and I have a cover that'll cover it. That'll, uh, it's a fat box. And the back, that's still nice. Final Fantasy 7, I can replace that. This is going in my collection, but I'm also going to be testing cases with it, uh, games with it. A um, bit of foam, that's my best practice as well. A little bit of dust, but doesn't seem to be much in the way of scratching. Very nice. That's disc one of three. I do have this um, in disc only, but disc one is not working. And then there's the manual. I can get it out. There we go. In very nice condition. And then there's... Let's get that manual back into a slot and it'll close. The back has two more discs. Disc two is, yeah, very nice. Disc three is. Yeah, nice. Good. Very good. Yeah. Ten pounds cost me. Let's get the focus right. There we go. Ten pounds. It didn't have that crack in when I bought it. Um, but it's in bubble wrap envelope. My best practice would be to bubble wrap it and put it in a box. I understand why they didn't when some of these are selling for £25. Um, and they've charged 4 49 postage there, first class signed for. By the way, I didn't sign for it. It was put through my door, which I don't appreciate. If it's going to be signed for, I would rather, as a seller, want them to be signing for it. Maybe they log the ID or photograph it or something that Royal Mail, but it should have been signed. You know, they open the, they should be asking, knocking on the door and opening it. There again, saying that I was in the shower. So it may have been delivered when I was in the shower. Um, and they know me down the local post office. It's not a big deal. Yeah, I sold 
the black label version of this several years ago when I first started reselling uh, video games, probably, I don't know, six to eight years ago, I sold this in much better condition, bubble wrapped and sent in a, car a parcel. By the way, you could have sent it in a parcel for a lot less money than that, but never mind. Um, and I pay, and I got something like five pound and I thought that was a good price at the time. At 10 pound plus delivery, this is a good price, even with a broken case, because I'm not a problem with this because I can replace that. It will go in my collection. Um, yeah. Um, I think this is the game that I bought with my original PlayStation 1 immediately, and I must have played it a lot. So, yeah, a um, bit of uh, nostalgia to uh, sort out and put me put my knife away and um it'll all be fun until i decide to clear it and get rid of it again uh, once the value actually some people are selling this for 20 25 pounds which is currently ridiculous but um not a big deal right um hope you enjoyed that unboxing i certainly did um and i'm going to enjoy playing it for a bit uh, during my off hours, once I've listed enough, this is, um, what would you call it, reward, you know, for getting the listings done for the day, play on this for a couple of hours, rather than worry about um, watching uh, the latest Netflix, YouTube, uh, Amazon, Prime, Now TV, subscribe a button, which costs £10 a month. This has cost me £10. It'll keep me going for quite a while. Right? Bye.